Hi everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing another trigonometric substitution problem today. This one involves the integral of x squared minus 25 over x dx. Because we have x squared and then minus a constant here, we're, we're trying to figure out what the trigonometric identity is that we're going to use for substitution. And since u is always in place of the x and a is in place of the constant, we're using u squared minus a squared because it matches our form here. Which means that u is equal to x and a is equal to 5 which we can theref uh, therefore plug into this part of the formula and we get x equals 5 secant theta. Um, secant squared theta minus 1 equals tangent squared theta is the part of the identity that we're going to use for substitution later on. So let's go ahead and um, now that we found x, we always take dx and the derivative of secant of theta is um, secant of theta tangent of theta. And then we always add d theta, right, because we just took the derivative. So now that we have x and dx, we can go ahead and plug those two things back into our integral here. So when we do that, we'll get the integral of the square root of, let's see, x squared, so 5 secant of theta squared minus 25 over 5 secant secant of theta, and then dx we're plugging in here, 5 secant theta tangent theta d theta. And now that we've gone ahead and substituted, we need to simplify. So to simplify, we can first cancel out 5 secant theta because we have it in the denominator and in the numerator. And then we're going to need to simplify what's under the radical here. So squaring this 5 secant theta here, we will get 25 secant squared theta and then minus 25. And then we're multi multiplying that by tangent theta d theta. Now we go ahead and factor out uh, 25, 25 times secant squared theta minus 1, tangent theta d theta. And the reason that we do that is because we always want to factor what's inside the radical or inside the parentheses, parentheses in our integral because we'll end up with this secant squared theta minus 1, which we have here in, in our identity, so we can substitute in tangent squared theta, which is going to simplify this. So when we do that, we'll get the um, square root of 25 times tangent squared theta times tangent theta d theta. And when we do that, then this is something that's very easy to take the square root of, Treat it as two separate square roots. When you have things multiplied together, you can do that. So we'll end up with the integral of 5 and then tangent theta, and then again multiplied by tangent theta d theta. So now that can all be easily simplified to, um, we'll bring the 5 out in front of the integral because it's a coefficient and we can pull it out in front, and then we just have tangent squared theta d theta. Sorry for the uh, airplane noise. So once we have um, tangent squared theta d theta, what we want to do is go ahead, this is difficult to take the integral of. What isn't as difficult to take the integral of is secant squared theta minus 1, which we can plug back in here. So 5 times the integral of secant squared theta minus 1 d theta. Uh, the integral of secant squared theta is tangent of theta, and that's something that you'll want to memorize as a trigonometric identity because this is a basic one. So we have tangent squared theta and then minus theta because the integral of 1 is just whatever the variable is, and in this case that's theta. And then plus c, as always, to account for the constant. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and 
simplify one more time here. We'll distribute the 5. We'll get 5 times tangent theta minus 5 theta plus c. So that's our integral fully simplified. And now we need to work on getting this back in terms of x instead of theta. And the way that we're going to do that, we're going to plug in two different things. For tangent of theta, remember that uh, tangent is, um, here's tangent, this is the triangle that goes along with this identity here, and our angle um, for theta is always here. So tangent is um, opposite over adjacent here, and this is, the hypotenuse is always u, which is x, the adjacent side is always a, which is 5, um, and the opposite side is always whatever our radical is here or, or whatever's in the parentheses. So um, we'll have opposite over adjacent, so we'll plug in 5 times the square root of x squared minus 25 over 5, that's tangent of theta, and then we'll say minus 5, and then for this theta, um, since we don't have tangent of theta, we have to solve this um, equation here for theta. And the way that we do that, we divide both sides by 5, so we get x over 5 equals secant of theta. And then um, we raise both sides um, to the inverse of secant, so that looks like this, um, secant to the negative 1 of this, and then we would do the same over here, secant to the negative 1 of this. Um, so that will cancel the secants over here, and we'll get theta equals secant to the negative 1, or the inverse of secant, of x over 5. So this is what we're going to plug in for this theta here, and it's not a good place to write that, since that's what I'm needing here. So secant to the negative 1, of x over 5, and then of course plus c. And then the only thing we have left to do is simplify because we can cancel out these 5's here. So our final answer will be x squared minus 25 minus 5 secant to the negative 1 of x over 5 plus c. Hope that helped. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!